After decades of planning and construction, the $1.3 billion radio telescope is peering into secrets of the universe never before seen. ALMA is the most advanced telescope on Earth, but it's a really special kind of telescope. Instead of something that you look for, it uses radio antennas, 66 of them spread across 10 miles in the Atacama Desert to actually create images of things in space we can't see with our eyes. It looks for the cold universe. It looks for very, very distant objects, some of the earliest galaxies, and it reveals them to us in ways that we just can't see with an optical telescope. Charles Blue at the National Radio Astronomy Observatory in Charlottesville has visited the site three times. Well, ALMA is also sort of a, a time machine for the universe. It can look very, very far back to some very distant objects. And the farther back you look in space, the earlier you're looking in time. So when we look at these early galaxies, we're seeing what we think are like the kernels that came together and formed galaxies like our own Milky Way or Andromeda or the other galaxies we're, we're more familiar with. So in that way, it sort of gives us a, a picture book of the universe showing how it looked very young and helps us build a picture to what it looks like now. Scientists from all over the world are lining up to use the observatory and any astronomer in North America has to book time through Charlottesville. Here in Charlottesville, we have something called the North America Alma Science Center, and it's where astronomers from the United States and Canada can write their proposals, they can do their science, they can interact with other astronomers, and actually use the telescope here. So we are actually the portal for science in North America to use Alma. For more information on Alma and deep space exploration, Go to www.almaobservatory.org. I'm Charles Fishburne, WCVE News.